This is Queensland's winter. We're in August. This is supposed to be winter. What a great weather. What a great state. Throwing a few lures around the headlands. One of my local headlands. Here's my little frenzy. It's only light gear. We're looking for some big stud ocean brim or some smaller trevally. But in places like this, you never know what you're going to catch. So we've got a nice little light outfit. I'm going to throw a few of the uh, lures in close and tight, rattle them out, and see what happens. Just seen a fish roll over there. The lure in quick. Oh, he's onto it. Come on, eat it, eat it. Yep. What I've got going on here is one of my favorite products that the Berkeley brought out, and that's the Diablo. Beautiful little rod from the Berkeley range. I've got it teamed up with a, an ST40, maybe to ST40, and some Code Red. Code Red of about eight pound, this one. So a little Berkeley Frenzy lipless crankbait in around some rocks on a headland. Now, it's not the sort of gear you really should be doing this with, but what I've got, I think, is a fairly substantial queen fish. Now, just to show you the the sort of thing you can actually do with these rods and reels, when they're balanced, you got there's power. <laughs> He's got a fair bit of power. <laughs> that is why we fish. Ah, oh, awesome. Now I've got a fairly light leader on this and a small lure with light gauge hooks. So the power of the rods in here, the light tip, that's what's given me a little bit of control over the fish, but I can't say a lot. But just by using the rod and reel the way, for what they're designed, which is a, a fish fighting tool, with a bit of luck we'll even get to see this fish. Well, we've got a bit of colour. First I thought this fish was a queenie and it, it still possibly could be. It also might be a nice golden trevally now that I'm getting a bit better look at it. So I'm using the, using the rod as leverage. Winding down to the fish, keeping all that tension. So the rod always stays bent. You've got to keep the rod bent, that keeps the, the hooks in the fish. Now, we're doing some drifting and moving. Uh, like I said, is, it's not the sort of gear you really expect to catch a fish like this on, but you can do it with patience. So we've got, just had a bit better look at him. Looks like a nice golden trevally. Now this, this outfit's more for chasing brim and, and you do get some really cracking brim around the headlands and this time of year that's why I've gone to a really light leader, really small lure, imitating the small bait fish that have been um, getting a bit hassled out. I just love Trevally. There's probably not another fish species swimming around that will just fight and fight and fight to the very, very end. They do not give an inch. Every species of trevally, whether they're a two kilo fish or a 10 kilo fish, they just pull hard. Now this is where a lot of the big fish are lost on light tackle, is that last, last lunges of the, of the fish. This fish is a, a pretty decent fish on this side of tackle. And it's a matter of just working him up through the water column, hoping that he hasn't got enough power to get back down. He's swimming around, he's slugging away. This is the, this is the patient part. If you're, not, if you're not careful, you're not patient, try and rush that fish. Your knots are gonna pull, the, the hooks can pull. The angler's patience will break before the fish's patience will break. This is the time, this is the scary part. Get them up. Oh, what a magnificent looking fish. Have a look at that. Beautiful fish. 
see if this fish is going to behave for me. Oh, he's tired. I'm tired. What a magnificent fish. Beautiful. Get these bogus in that soft jaw if we can. Oh, oh man. Check that out. Oh, oh, oh. You, you're not supposed to catch fish that big on this light tackle. But with patience, having it all set correct, anything can happen. You just gotta put the lure in front of the fish. Now that is a cracking golden trevally on the little frenzy. Mate, that's awesome fun. So you can do anything. A bit of patience and the right gear. Awesome. Woo! All right, I'm gonna put this guy back in the water. Let him have a swim. What a beautiful fish. Magnificent. Oh, look at him go. That is gold. That's great. That's why we fish, you know. I love it. It's great. You've got to get out there. Get out and fish. Get off the computers. Get out in the ocean. Awesome. <clears throat> Gonna go and do that again. <laughs>